Meantime, President Biden renewed calls for the House and the Senate to team up and ban assault weapons, saying he can't do anything except plead with Congress. It comes as Democrats rallied in Washington today to get support from Republicans on this issue. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is live at the White House following it all for us. Ben. Nicole Lou, Republicans have a majority in the House and are on no one banning assault weapons. So at this point, Congress does not have the votes needed to push a new law through. Good morning. Standing behind a podium with his sign, Kids Over Guns, lawmakers gathered outside the Capitol in Washington, D.C. Wednesday. We gather here today with a heavy heart. A heavy heart and a call to action amid demands for new legislation on gun reform. If you are trying to hide behind responsible gun owners rather than act to keep dangerous people from mowing down our kids, then what are you doing in Congress? The remarks come after a deadly shooting at a grade school in Nashville where six people were killed, including children. Three kids, through adult, three adults, three nine-year-olds. Is that what they're going to say to them, that there's nothing else that we can do? President Biden signed an executive order two weeks ago in an effort to increase the number of background checks to buy guns and promote more secure firearm storage. Over the summer, representatives crossed party lines to pass the Safer Communities Act, marking the most significant gun safety law in nearly three decades. As the White House calls on Congress to do it again, this time to ban assault weapons. I will just tell you, Mr. President, that as chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, I'm sorry that we don't have the votes now to act. We need to do it. And instead of banning assault weapons, some GOP leaders say Congress could consider tighter school security procedures and mental health resources. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News.